That, that's a very interesting concept, this whole idea of uh, thinking about what they're playing. I mean, how would you compare today's teaching methods out in, in the United States and the world as compared to what you've been able to achieve with this, with this method of yours? You mean like what else is being taught out there? Correct, yeah. Okay. All teachers basically want to be good teachers, and many, as myself, were caught in a modality of teaching. The traditional system takes teaching of notes, and it takes a long time to teach all the notes. And some systems say that you cannot teach chords to a young child until they have been had two years of piano lessons. And my question to that is, why? If they know the notes on the piano, and they know the letters, well then let's start putting it together for the chords as long as their hands can reach them. And we start chords immediately, which then puts us into a whole different realm of the songs that we play, which makes music a heck of a lot more interesting. And as a result of that, we've also, another breakthrough you asked for before, we've taken all of the music learning we've done, divided it into levels, and then in each level we have what we call our black belt sheets. So the students can track their progress. So that means I'm a better teacher as a result of that, and the students, whether they're adults or children, get excited because they can <coughs> see themselves growing. And that's an important psychological factor. Actually, if I had to go back in the classroom and do my regular teaching of English, biology, and what else I was teaching, I would now use that same methodology.